uh, what I'm doing for sales is I'm very, you know, my customers, I treat them well. I try my best to treat my customers well and keep them coming back. Have you seen a change over last year? I mean, things are going oh, yeah. really good. You've got high growth. So what is it? Is it a combination got, of things? I got uh, repeated customers. Yeah. So uh, why are you doing that to me? <laughs> I do. Your store is one of the better, you know, growing stores. So yeah. you want to try to figure it's, out uh, what you're doing. The other stylists also are doing very well. So. so you have to have a number of top performing stylists oh, yeah. in the store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, okay. Are you I think that I make sure that the girls can perform, as in cut, you know, doing the championship hair cut experience, and uh, I make sure that we do the club play, you know, all the time. And what about your team leader? Oh, I love him. He's I love guy. Him. Yeah, him and Michelle are great. And uh, I think that that's pretty much is, our, is what makes us strong. And what is it about it that makes him great? Uh, I think that. Uh, you know, in order for you to do a good job, you need to have everything in the store. And that's what he does. He, he gets whatever you need, Roxanne, it's there. And, you know, if we need, you know, anything we need, he's there for us. Okay. So I think that if you want if you want to perform the best, then, you know, you got to have good team leaders. For 2009. My managers. Your managers? Great, great managers. I love all my managers, and they I couldn't do it without them. Have you ever had a store that had a not so great manager? Absolutely. And what's what's the difference? Um, I think a lot of it is just getting the team together and uh, getting that camaraderie amongst them just really well, you know. Um, but um, as far as trying to fix it, I'm trying my best to fix everything that I can. And still working and the biggest challenge that I have is getting the team together. I thought you said it was Cody. Uh, that too. Don't even ask me about Cody tonight. What are the big plans for 2009? Uh, my family. All right. <laughs> Kelly, any additions to your team this year? <laughs> No children? <laughs> no children. They're all out of the house. And what's the secret to operating multiple stores? Uh, a good business coach. A good business coach? All right. So you've been working with Carlos and that's been helping out? Oh, yeah. In what way? He's given us clarity and the ability to work together in a more efficient way and to find our positions and our uh, work, what do you call it, like our, <laughs> what we do, our roles, our roles in the business. Has Drew stopped beating you? What? Has Drew stopped beating you? No. No? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that'll come along soon. But he's helped y'all work out your roles and then yeah. easier to work together? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. What we need to be doing. How long will you continue on with the business coaching for like forever or is it indefinitely? Right now, indefinitely until we get it. I think the secret is one thing by example is setting rules, uh, having rules kind of helps guide us with things to do and things that shouldn't be done. And what was going on in the shop before you took over? Uh, there was a lot of just coming and going and unprofessionalism and just kind of doing what they wanted to do, but now everybody did. The team members happier now that there's structure and rules? Yes, they're much happier. Okay. Because before, a lot of caused a lot of drama and a lot of problems. Yeah, they had a lot of drama with every, everyone. Everybody was upset with everybody. So now it's much smoother. Now it's much smoother. What's the most important thing for the team leader to provide for you to help you do your job? Just standing behind us, giving us this hundred percent. Okay. Right. Any changes that you're going to make this year? Um, just keep motivating the team to do better right. so we can grow. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming and thanks for being a top performer. Thank you for having me. What, is it gonna, what we want to know is what it's going to take to build a store that's as good as yours. you got to build a team that values. You got to treat your clients.
so they they got to follow the plan and they do what you say and, and you work them out. Success is uh, you gotta well, you gotta develop people, but what you gotta do is you gotta show them the path. And the path is your values. Sportsmen have three good values. We've added to them, but uh, if you find people that are consistent, you want to work, you want to work hard. And then, and then they got a motivation that they want to make money or do better in their life. And we can teach them how to do that by doing the five-point play and by what they, how they speak to a client, what they say. It's all about what you say. I mean, you recommend and you you lead you lead your clients in what they get. And uh, so you find out what they want and you give it to them. You know. And, do what's right. That's right. Do what's right. Well, I, I, I tell you one thing. You know, I, I keep talking to these girls, and all I'm looking for is somebody who will just do what I'm telling them to do. That means doing the five-four play and loving their class and encouraging them, and then not thinking, not putting their mind in that class. Figure that class, that class loves, quotes. See, what I look at is, if that client walks through that door, they want to look good, smell good, and feel good. And all you've got to do is provide that and then and then recommend what they need to, to keep that up. And these clients will buy that and do that and uh, keep growing because then they'll keep coming back. I mean, the simple fact is, is they're looking for somebody that's going to take care of them and make them good and tell them how to do this. And Because they don't have anybody. There's nobody out there that... That cares about them. Nobody out there that tells them how to look good. And if you're doing that, then I guarantee you, they're coming back to see you. you know? Christy, you're here at the Rock and Sweet because you had great performance. 2009 over 2008, your story is still ahead. What's your secret? What's the secret to great sales in 2009? Great team members. And a great Oh, yeah, and a team leader. <laughs> Have you done anything differently in 2009 over 2008? What about the fact that you guys added chairs last year? Did that help? Yes. Well, go ahead. This part. Okay. Uh, no marketing? No marketing. This is because you do the five point play every time and you make your team members do it. Have your team members all been there for a long time or do you have any turnover? Uh, one time already. No, you have sports clips. I'm going to sneak in the people's minds and I've um, pretty much tried to motivate everybody every day. I'm trying to set their goals, you know, go over everything with them every day. Put a lot of positive thinking in them things because that's helped me a lot in my life. Attitude helps you the most from the team leader perspective. Positive feedback. Positive feedback. Of course, we're still, so I'm coming into it slowly but surely, but the positive feedback and the positive attitude helps a lot for me. That's great. And it comes from everyone, so, and I've been putting it into everybody, and I've noticed a change in everybody's attitude since I started. So you give it, you give it back. Yeah. 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 You're doing a great job. You're scoring way up this year. And, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.